Hey everybody, welcome back to their brand new video, and this is an exciting one. I've been uh, wanting to do this video now for months, and I finally am getting around to it. We've got a thousand dollars worth of rip cards here. We've got this nice collection of oversized jumbo box toppers. We got three of them, and we've also got eight single rip cards and then a double rip card as well. So inside these rip cards, if you are unfamiliar with Alan and Ginter, maybe you're new to the hobby. I think Alan and Ginter came out this summer sometime, maybe in like July or August. So we ripped it then, but it's been like, I don't know, what, six months? People love the rip card. So much so that Topps even made their own product, an online exclusive called Topps Rip, where you can rip open cards that have mini cards inside. So... There are three different types of rip cards. You have the regular rip cards right here. There's 100 different players in this checklist. They've got the dual rip cards right here that has 50 different players. We've got the Christian Yelich version, and there's also the box loader ones. You might recall you get those oversized box loaders. Well, some of them are rip cards. Inside each oversized box topper, there's three mini cards, and one of them should be an exclusive stained glass card. There's also autographs that could be in here. Now, in our break that we did of this product, how many cases did I do? Like two, three, four? I don't think we found a single autograph in any of them. Now, the previous year, we found a nice Jordan Alvarez red auto. I do remember that one. There could be one-of-one one minis. There could be metal cards. There could be wood cards, uh, the stained glass cards, and... Uh, yeah, hopefully we can find some good stuff in here. So thank you very much for watching, everybody. Before I rip into these, make sure you hit that thumbs up button for me. Also, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. We'd love to have you along. We do videos every single day. Today, we're doing two of them. We had a subscription box and this as well. Tomorrow, we might do three tomorrow. I don't know. I think I have Throwback Thursday. I'll probably do a boombox video for you guys as well. But anyway, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started, folks. Now, uh, these were sold to my Patreon members. So let's start off. Now, these cards here, these big boys, these ones are pretty expensive. The Judge is on eBay. There's two of them on eBay. The cheapest one is $250. Um, most of the time, these, these giant rip cards go from anywhere between $100 to $300, depending on who it is. And they're all numbered as well. We're going to start things off, though, with the single rip cards first. So... With nine singles, Vincent Smith is taking all nine single rip cards. So this double rip card of Christian Yelich, we're going to move off to the side. And uh, <clears throat> good luck, Vincent. I hope you can find some good stuff in these. We're hoping that you can get an autograph or one of one, a wood card, a metal card, something like that. By the way, if you'd like to check us out on Patreon, it's $4.99 a month. There's a link in the description to this video, or you can just Google Jabs Family Patreon. There's also a link to the channel membership if you'd like to do that for our auction. So inside each and every one of these, there is going to be either a mini red ink autograph, a mini parallel, which, you know, we don't really want those. They're worth the least. A mini wood parallel, a mini metal parallel, or a one-of-a-kind sketch card. It says, if you dare rip this card open, you will discover... Hopefully something good inside. So you can see there's a little tab right there that we'll be opening these up by. And let's uh, let's go ahead and get started. Good luck to Vincent. He's got nine of these. We'll do all nine. And then uh, I think you got a Mountie. You got a Ryan Mountcastle. Let's hope he's going to be autographed. Ryan Mountcastle. Nice rookie right there. One of the top rookies of the 2021 class at the uh, Orioles rookie record for home runs this year. And much to Vincent's chagrin and also mine, I do not see an autograph on it. So you have an exclusive mini parallel of Ryan Mountcastle for your first card right there. Now, this card, it looks like it's trash, right? Well, we're still going to send this to Vincent because, uh, you know, there's still some value to these. You can just kind of top load it up and at least you have the front i'll do my best vincent to keep these in as good of shape as i can uh, next up we've got sam huff out of 99 here we go good luck to you card number two sam huff it's going to be clayton kershaw how many autographs do you think we're going to find i'm hoping for one now you might say man i was hoping you'd find a lot more than that but um that's just the way it kind of goes with these rip cards I don't think that, uh, based off what I saw this summer, it's very, very easy to find the autograph. So it's going to be a Clayton Kershaw little mini card. It's almost like we're opening packs, but we're opening cards. Kind of very strange, huh? Clayton Kershaw mini is card number two for Vincent. All right. Now, these rip cards, by the way, they go for anywhere between, 
usually sixty dollars or so to, to like over a hundred, hundred fifty bucks. Like some of the rookies, the lower numbered ones, like out of fifty, will go for a lot more. Now I don't know if the lower the number the higher your chances are at something good. I don't know if anyone's ever looked into that. I haven't read anything about that. Jose Ramirez is next on the chopping block. Come on, Jose, give me something. It's going to be a Miguel Cabrera, as you can see there. Is there going to be an autograph on it? Looks like we're going to be 0 for 3, but like I said, if we can get one, I'll be happy. Nice Miggy. Let's see if I can sneak that out of there without having to peel the other side of the card open. Miguel Cabrera, kind of a weird expression on his face there. But he's one of the all-time greats. He'll be a first ballot Hall of Famer for sure. And we are now 0 for 3 for Vincent. Next, where do we go next? I feel like uh, this Al Kaline's out of 50. So that one we're going to save. I want to do, uh, I'm going to do Vladdy next. Vlad Sr., this one's out of 99. Let's go ahead and rip it. Let's see what we've got. Throwback Thursday coming up tomorrow. We'll be ripping open some boxes. I'm thinking 91 Upper Deck. I haven't done that before. And uh, the only reason I'm doing it is I hate 91 Upper Deck with the passion. But I'd like to find the uh, short print. Oh, man. We got a John Cruck. And a, do, oh, we, got, we got an autograph. We have an autograph. It's John Cruck. Look at this. Look at this. Vincent, congratulations. I wish it was somebody a little more valuable than John Cruck. Not, not that he's a terrible player or anything like that, but... So Vladimir Guerrero Jr. gives way to a John Cruck on card auto, and it's out of 10. Very low numbered card right there. Crucky autograph for Vincent. We'll put that one on the board. Congratulations, Vincent. That's a so thanks, Vladdy. Vlad Sr. may give us hope for two autographs in this. We will see. All right, we've got a bunch more for Vincent. We're all not even uh, we're not even halfway done. We've got five left. We've opened four. We're one for four. If we can get two, I'll be super happy with that haul. Honestly, I wasn't really expecting even one because I struck out in our case breaks of this. Whenever we found a ripped card, I ripped it open. I said when people signed up, I'm going to rip the cards open. If you're okay with that, sign up. If not, then you probably shouldn't sign up. And uh, we just didn't find anything. So let's do uh, let's do Christian Yelich next. A Yelly out of 99. We got one auto. Let's see if we can find a metal card or a wood card now. You gotta take these slow, by the way, because uh, there's nothing worse if you go too fast and you lose the the kind of like seam that you're creating. Man, they're they're a lot tougher to open. Then you gotta bring in like razor blades and stuff like that, and uh, there's a chance that you could damage the inside card. So if you're thinking I'm going really slow, I'm not doing it on purpose. I just want to make sure that the inside card is not damaged. And the inside card, as you can see, that's gonna be Dylan Carlson peeking out at you. Nice rookie right there, so we'll take that one. And there's, you know, there's some value to these, I'm sure. Not, uh, not crazy amounts. Like it's not gonna be worth as much as the rip card was originally. It's probably not a sixty dollar card, but there's a little bit of value to nice short. I think I don't know if they're short prints or not, um, but they are exclusives. Next, I'm gonna save the K line for last, since it's out of ninety nine. We're gonna do A Rod next. A Rod. See what he can give us. All right, let's see what we can do in here. Good luck. Oh man, I lost it. I lost it, Vincent. I lost. I lost the. Uh... Oh, here we go. This is. Got to have like a. A surgeon's hand here now, so you don't ruin that card inside. What if the card inside is something just crazy good? It's going to be Joey Votto. I think we've recovered. The card inside is not damaged. Luckily, I lost the seam at the very top of the card so that when I had to get in there with that razor blade, I wasn't going to nick the inside card. I guess there's other ways you could go about it to get the card out. You could maybe like cut this way and then cut the card out. But then, I don't know, it's a little risky because you can't see the inside card. So you would risk, depending on how the card's laying in there, you would risk damaging the card if it's uh, laying high, so to speak. All right, so there's the Joey Votto. I'm gonna try to take it out from the top because the bottom is not completely given away. Joey Votto, just a regular mini. All righty, we will continue on here. Next up, I'm gonna go with the, uh, hmm. Where do I go next? I'm trying to keep this A-Rod from encroaching on the screen. Let's go with Alec Bohm. Save Mountie and K-Line. We got one auto so far. Alec Bohm is up next for Vincent. 
Got the, oh man, did I lose it again? Oh no, 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 these are not, not as easy as it looks. Not as easy as it looks, folks. See if I can recover this one. Good thing I have my box topper here. I'm not working with anything else. It's Oh, it's Joe Adele. All right. Joe Adele, please be autographed. Need to see some red ink on there. And it is, you know, it's not autographed. But you're getting a lot of the good rookies from this class. Nice Joe Adele. You got Mountie. You got Dylan Carlson. Joe Adele is a nice one to get. I'd rather have that one than just say a regular... Joey Votto or veteran of some sort. Always better to have rookies. Oh man, this is <laughs> PSA zero on the back of that one. All right, next up, we got Mountie, Ryan Mountcastle. I like Mountie. Let's see if you can give us an autograph. This is card number eight of nine. And then we have the double rip card, and then we have the, uh, the main event. Well, it's Ted Williams, so we know it's not going to be autographed. Ted Williams has not been with us now for a good... Uh, over 20 years, unfortunately. One of the all-time greats of all time. I guess that's a little redundant. One of the all-time greats of all time. Uh, last uh, memory of Ted Williams that I have is seeing him at the 1999 All-Star Game. On TV, I wasn't actually at the 99 All-Star Game at Fenway Park, but that was a, a pretty awesome moment, seeing him with all the, the greatest players and seeing all of the stars of that time, like 1999, just flocking to Ted Williams to pick his brain about baseball and hitting in general. One of the all-time greats, Ted Williams. Out K-Line's up next. It's out of it's out of 50. Number one of 50. Okay, that uh, that's... Hopefully there's something in here. I felt like the out of 50 might, may have been our best chance at a, an autograph just because it was lower numbered. Let's see what we've got. It is a regular card, so we have not yet found a wood card or a metal card in this. We have found an autograph. This is going to be Alec Bohm, so the good rookies continue. And it is just a regular card. So best card of the first nine is that John Cruck numbered out of ten. Nice. Only ten of those in existence. John Cruck had a nice career. You know, obviously he was an all-star. You probably remember him in the all-star game against Randy Johnson where uh, John Cruck thought he was going to perish at the plate because Johnson threw a high fastball behind his head on purpose. A good, I don't know, good 10 feet behind his head. But John Cruck was, uh, he was not feeling it. A couple moments like that. Larry Walker had a moment like that as well. All right, so... We've got the double rip card up next. Let me put Crucky over in Vincent's pile just to make sure that goes to him. Next, we have a double rip card. This one is going to Adam. So, Adam, best of luck to you. I hope we can find something good for you. Let's take a look at the card. It's a Christian Yelich out of 25. Now, inside this card, it tells you the same stuff. It's a one-of-a-kind sketch card could be in there or an exclusive red ink autograph, a mini parallel, which... Nine of the cards, or eight of the cards so far, have been that out of nine. Wood or metal cards. So it's a little bit thicker. There's going to be a, and it's a Robin Yount on the back as well. As you can see right there. It's going to be, um, I think, a rip on each side. You can see the uh, the seam started there for the Yount and the seam on the other side for Yelly. So let's start, uh, I guess we'll start with Yelly first. All right, there's our card. It's uh, Casey Mize. You can see that from the nice Tigers. Tigers have some nice prospects on the way. We've got Spencer Torkelson and Riley Green coming soon. Oh, boy, unfortunately, it is not going to be autographed for you, Adam. I wish it was, but it's not. Let's see if I can get it out of there now. Double rip card's a little tougher. I don't know what the deal is here. <clears throat> Much tougher than the uh, the single rip cards to get open up. I'm guessing because the card don't, doesn't want to give away like the single ones did. They were a lot more flimsy. Got to do this very carefully. You don't want to damage the mice. Although, I'm sure that's pretty interesting to watch. You're probably like... Oh, boy. Come on, Jabs. Don't ruin the card. I'm doing my best, folks. We got it. Casey buys. Safe and sound. Christian Yelich has seen better days. Next, we've got the other side of the card. It is the Robin Yount. Let's see what we can find here. That's going to be Sam Huff is the 
Rookie minis continue. We got the big old box toppers coming up. And the Sam Hoff is not going to be autographed either. Just a regular card for Adam. Regular mini. There it is. Sam Hoff. All right. So, Adam, thank you very much. Take a look at Adam's double rip card. Man, that card has seen better. I wonder if anyone's ever sent that into PSA as a joke just to see how, what they would do with it. All right, so now this is the uh, these are the big ticket items. We've got the Judge, which is for Keith. We've got the Brett, which is for Brian. We've got the Bryant, which is for Oki. So here we go. Now these are box toppers. There's three minis inside. You can see this Brian is numbered out of 99 at the bottom. There's three different areas to rip from. We can rip from right here. There's a mini in there. And there's a mini right here. And the third mini is... Um, I've got to find the seam for that one. Where's my third entrance point? I see those two. Uh, I think it might be right here. All right, so let's go ahead and do this. Maybe there's two across the top. I think that's it. There's two this way and then one here. I can't remember now. All right, here we go. Chris Bryant, ripping commenced. Same deal. Um, an exclusive mini is going to be in there with uh, a mini stained glass along with two of the other cards. So, Oki, good luck to you. All right, looks like we got something interesting right there. What what could that possibly be? Okay, it's going to be the jersey, the collar of a jersey. So it looks like they're both regular minis. Maybe one will be signed. One's an Ichiro. And the other is going to be a Casey Mize. Let's pull them out of here. and Let's hope there's an auto at the bottom. Ichiro is not signed. Casey Mize. I'm going to have to work on this corner of this Mize. Uh, I'm probably just going to have to... I don't want to risk damaging it, so I might take it from the bottom. Casey Mize is not signed either. So we'll try to slide it out the side here. Lots of finagling with these cards to make sure that the cards aren't damaged. All right, there's the Mize. Okay, Oki. Now, you're going to have a stained glass card in the bottom portion. At least we should, unless they lie to us. And there it is. You can see the nice stained glass. It's going to be a Hall of Famer. That is going to be the great one and only Eddie Murray. Switch hitter extraordinaire. Stained glass mini of Eddie. There he is. All right. So that's one jumbo box topper down. For Oki. Now we've got two more to go. Next, we've got Brian coming up. This probably hurts some of you to just to watch, just see these valuable box toppers opened up. I know that uh, some people just had to look away when we were doing this live. Beautiful George Brett box topper. It's numbered out of 80, which 1980 was his, uh, I guess, his best season. He hit 390 in 1980. Just missed 400. All right, here we go. George Brett rip underway. Let's see what we can find in this. Looks like we may have a Red Sox player on the right. Possibly, maybe a Braves player on the left. That's what I'm guessing based off of that, uh, the jersey color right there. It's actually an Astro. And the Brave part I got right is Ronald Acuna Jr. The Astro is going to be Bregman. It's not going to be autographed and the Ronald Acuna Jr. is also not autographed so two regular minis for Brian let's see what we've got at the bottom it's going to be a stained glass I believe at least it tells us it should be there it is stained glass card it's going to be a Joe Adele I haven't seen Mike Trout yet I was for a second there a brief second hoping it was going to be a Mike Trout stained mini now, some of you might be wondering, what's a Mike Trout stained mini, or or Joe Adele for that matter? I guess we should look up Joe Adele really, really quick. A stained mini of Joe Adele, what does that go for? Well, you're in luck. I have eBay fired up off to the side here. 2021 Adele stained glass mini is currently listed on eBay for, oh, there's one of a, there's no exact matches, actually. Somebody has a Johnny Bench SSP for 150 Looks like uh, they go for usually 20 bucks or so, maybe. 
depending on who it is. So Joe Adele, you might be able to get a little more money for that one. But uh, you're not looking like a, a crazy hundred multi hundred dollar amounts, but still a nice card. Here's the back of the stained glass if you're wondering what that looks like. So Brian, thank you very much. Yours is in the books. And we've got one more left to do from these rip cards. Let me get Brian's name with this Brett. And it's the most expensive one of all. It's the Aaron Judge. Come on, Judge. Don't let me down, man. At least we got one autograph. That's what I was hoping for. But uh, always, you know, hoping for a little more if possible. Here it is. Aaron Judge. Rip it. Keep it. Well, we're going to rip it. You can see the bottom of the card. It's numbered out of 99. 65 out of 99. Here's the back. These, This exact card is on eBay for $250. And there's another one for, I think, $275. And we're going to completely destroy it now in hopes of finding something better. Here we go. Good luck, Keith. So far, I don't see any red ink. No wood cards, no metal cards that I can tell. Let's go ahead and take the top off. We've got Mount Castle on the left and Jacob DeGrom on, or actually Mount, Mounties on the left. Or right, sorry, man. It's been a long day. Mounties on the right, the Grom's on the left. Let's see if the Mounties going to be signed or not. Ryan Mountcastle, come on, man, give me an autograph. Not signed, so a Mountcastle mini, and the Jacob de Grom. Is he going to be signed? He is not. Let's see if we can slide him out of here. There's the DeGrom. And final card, final mini of the video. It's going to be the stained glass card. Let's see who it's going to be. Hmm, looks like a Milwaukee Brave. Warren Spawn, perhaps. Let's see who it is. Warren Spawn, indeed. Nice card, if you like your Braves. And there is our final card, 300-game winner, Hall of Famer, Warren Spawn. So there you have it, folks. I thought that would be a fun little video of these rip cards. Some of you probably forgot about Allen and Ginter rip cards, but uh, had to grab these when I saw this collection. $1,000 worth of rip cards. Now, here's the thing that hurts. Did we get $1,000 back? No, we did not, obviously, because we only got that one auto to John Cruck. That's the gamble you take. Now, typically with the rip cards most of the time you're going to end up losing out um so you're probably if you get one of these on your own you're probably better off just keeping it now the john crock there is one listed on ebay right now out of 10 red ink on it for 180 dollars best offer so numbered six of tens on there red ink for 180 so i don't if they can get 180 for that uh that's pretty good vincent i would say if you get 180 for your john crock go for it man um, now, some of the, uh, if you would have got a, like a Mike Trout or something like that, you would be looking at a crazy good haul. Um, that's just the way it goes. Mike Trout would probably worth, I don't know, 500 to a grand, maybe even more since it's out of 10. But we didn't find that one, but we found a crux. So we did get an autograph, and that's all that we have for you for today. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hit that thumbs up button for me. There's another video I posted a little earlier today, the big fly box. You can check that one out. And uh, tomorrow I'll probably have the boom box for you. And uh, I'll probably also do a throwback Thursday. I'll have an auction for you as well. So a couple different things coming at you tomorrow. Uh, have a great rest of your Wednesday, folks. And if you're in the Midwest, stay safe because they say there's a big winter storm coming our way. The alerts are all out. We're getting a lot of snow and ice. So stay safe out there if you're in the Midwest and have a great rest of your evening and I'll see you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody.